Yeah, 27 is a lot like 28. Square both sides. Yeah. Check it. All right. So maybe by the time, we got, maybe by the time we got down here, uh, I know everybody got really busy, like myself. But maybe people don't remember my two hilarious children helping me out here. I remember. I remember. Here, let me. I'll give you a hint. Okay, so this is number 27. It says the square root of x plus 3 equals 8. Now, we need to find out what x is. Okay, and in order to do that, we're going to square both sides. Oh, uh, no, that's the other one. Hold on. Square both sides. Check it, okay. So when you square both sides, you're going to get the possible answers, but you have to check them. All right. Square this side and square that side. Mathematically, it actually creates a whole new thing. It's not the old thing anymore, but it's what we use to find the possible answers. So on the left-hand side, the square root of x plus 3 squared is just x plus 3. On the right-hand side, 8 squared is... 64. Subtract 3 on both sides to get the x by itself. x equals 61. Okay? Check it. So we have to check it. Uh-oh. iPad is low on batteries. Where did you go? Check it. So here's how we check it. The square root of x plus 3 equals 8. 61 goes right there. So the square root of 1 plus 3 equals 8. Square root of 64 equals 8. It works. Thanks, boys.